What is up everybody and look what we got right here. The XO Cinemaster 2 and we want to thank the great folks over at XO for sending this out so we can check it out. This is just the box but I'm going to show you this really awesome case they give you uh, inside of this box. Let's check that out. Alrighty there it is. Man look how nice that is and it has this Wow, it just feels so sweet. It has this really nice like uh, rubber rubber coating on there, like a waterproof coating. Wow, real nice, real nice. Flip that open, and there that is. Now let me get this stuff out and put it on the table. All right, guys, here's what you get in the box. You get a couple of manuals. Here's a the full user manual, and then you got your quick start guide. They give you two batteries ones in the drone already and they are 11.4 volt 3200 milliamp hour and there they are and this one here has this protective little coating on there so it's not making contact with the pins if you want to do a storage type deal so that's good then you got your spare props full set here your you know complimentary screwdriver and the USB-C cable you don't need a a dedicated charger you can just use one of the phone chargers you know to plug in you know your USB-C cable into the block and then put it into here and then it'll light up here these lights here will flash when it's uh, charging so when it gets to the last one it'll stop here's the transmitter right here and it takes the uh, AA batteries right there two of those in there here's the quadcopter itself it has a very nice uh, feel to it. it has a very nice build the build quality is very nice brushless motors let me crack it open here and get the there's the uh, gimbal cover let's get that off of there That gave me a little bit of trouble the first time I did it, but now that I got the hang of it, go in from the bottom and get that part loose first and then knock down this little top, that little top hook. So pop this one out first and then squeeze that one down and it'll pop off. I had a little bit of trouble first time I did it. I mean, I got it, no big deal. And right here is for your memory card, right there. It's kind of hard to actually see it. But it uh, goes right there. The battery goes in, and you want to make sure when you put the battery in that it goes all the way in. You don't want it pop hanging halfway out and stuff like that. So just make sure you lay it right in those grooves and then push it solidly all the way in. So you don't want to see any gaps around the frame of the battery. So. There's the three axis gimbal right there in the front. Yeah, it's very, very nice build on here. Very nice. So let's check the weight out on it real quick. Six hundred and twenty three grams. So, yeah, it's not a mini. It's not a mini drone at all. Let's just turn it on and uh, show you how to do the setup real quick. It's very simple to get this thing in the air. You know, it's not complicated at all. So you turn on the transmitter, turn this on. Now, you can do the compass calibration right now. Okay, if you want. See, the lights are flashing. I can do that right now. I don't need to fire up the app and do the Wi-Fi and all that, even though there's an option to do it in there too. But if you want to do it right now, you can. All you have to do is just start doing it. Spin it this way, you know, and then it'll sit there and beep for you. So you would just spin it like this and then just watch the lights. See, so they'll, they'll change color. Then just turn it up on its head. And then there it goes. So now when I got to the app part, it won't give me the little email sign up in the corner because it's already been, it's already been done. So if you want to go to the Wi-Fi part, 
you would go in here find it on here and it'll be this drone 4g there it goes then we go out of there and go to the app itself which is this X drone and it'll say enter device and there it is now if I wouldn't have done that compass calibration when I first turned it on up in this corner there will be a little a little uh, like an email symbol like a little envelope with a, I think it has a little red dot on there and you would click that and it'll guide you through the compass calibration but like I said, you don't have to wait to do that. You can just do it as the minute you power it on. And then you don't have to worry about that. Now, if you want to unlock the motors, all you have to do, say you wanted to fly it in the house, which we don't want to do. But if you did want to do that, <laughs> all you would have to do would be come down here and hit this little button right here. Right there and that'll unlock the motors. Now, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure, but that little GPS button on the side, that has to be off before you, before you can do that. Now, it'll time out after like 15 seconds and shut off, so. See, I got a prompt on here. Yeah, it says, it's just telling me that the GPS mode is off when I did the, when I actuated the motors, so, yeah. Oh yeah, so anyway, um, this EXO, they, whenever you go to purchase one of their products like this, say you was to go purchase this, they send you emails for you to get uh, this thing off the ground. If you are new into the hobby and you really don't know what you're doing, you purchase this thing, they're going to send you an email with videos in the email to show you how to get started and get going okay it's this thing you it's really easy to get into the air now i want you to stay tuned for the flight it's not a long flight believe me it's just out in front of me a little bit because the wind was so bad okay that i didn't dare uh, actually fly this thing anywhere but let me tell you what this thing really was a champion in that wind you're gonna see it when it is right after this but this thing was, uh, wow, okay, it went uh, above and beyond the call of duty in handling that wind, believe me. So, yeah, look real nice, man, look real nice out there. And the wind was bouncing it all over the place, and it was just sitting right there. So the, um, the optical flow and the positioning sensors on the bottom there, um, yeah, they do a nice job, man, do a real nice job. So they held that thing steady, steady as you go. So, yeah, so there's the app right there. And I think there's some features on there. Yeah, follow me, point of interest, headless mode, and all that stuff. Yeah, it's got all that good stuff in there. And then here's some settings up here for you. You got your metric. If you want to change it, your max distances and all that, you can change all that stuff. So, yeah, good stuff, man. All right, stay tuned for that little flight. And believe me, it's very short. <laughs> but this weekend, I'm going to take it out and do a much longer one. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. We're out here with the Cinemaster 2. And we're just going to take off and fly it around for a couple of minutes because I just want to check, you know, the flight characteristics of it and all that. It's kind of windy, so I don't want to really make a real big deal flight out of it today. I just want to see how stable it is and all that. It has a very nice build... Uh, build quality to it kind of having a difficult time keeping the phone in the controller here so all right so we got 15 satellites let's unlock the motors so that's pretty easy stuff so let's just see how stable she is with 15 satellites it should be pretty decent right It's, uh, like I said, it's a little windy out here, as you can see from that tree.
Yes, the wind is reeling and rocking. So, as a matter of fact, it's reeling and rocking pretty good. <laughs> but the drone is uh, hanging in there pretty good, so. We're gonna take it out next week. Um, if I can this week, but next week, the weather calms down a little bit. We're gonna take it out and, um, you know, go do some shots along the river and some stuff like that. But right now I'm just checking the stability of it after the unboxing and, you know, all that stuff. But it uh, seems to be uh, hanging in there pretty good, man. Well, past the wind test, that's for sure, right? And I'm not going to go up too high because, you know, the wind down here, when you get up there real high, it's twice as much. Okay, so it's passing the wind test pretty dang good to be honest with you I mean this wind is pretty ferocious right now big time so I just had a little visit from the security guard and he retrieved part of my packaging for the XO so I'm just walking away and letting that hover over there and you see that it's doing quite well. And now we got another person that wants to see it. Yeah, that them trees are bending pretty good over there. You see that, so. Yeah, it's doing, it's doing well. It's handling this wind pretty good. It's in the high speed. Now I do have the GPS on, so you can see how stable it is in the high wind with the GPS. Now, if I turn the GPS off, of course, that's going to, uh, make a difference wow that wind is really kicking okay so now the app is functioning where I can actually see it <laughs> okay yeah there's nothing more annoying than a freezing app okay because that will uh, sometimes cause you some duress. Especially when you're out and about. Okay, so obviously this guy here wants this. He wants to be where I'm at. Okay, this is a popular spot right here. So he's going to, you know, to, to wander around here and try to intimidate me into leaving. <laughs> Yes, this is a popular spot. So anyway, I have the GPS on still. So I am going to turn the GPS off here in a minute. And we're going to try the, um, what's, what's it like without the GPS? Okay, so I'm gonna bring it over here, away from this guy, so don't go over there and clock him. Okay, so now I am going to turn off the GPS, and we'll see what it does, because usually there'll be an immediate reaction when you turn off the GPS. Which I did, and nothing happened. So it's still, it's still pretty stable. It's just drifting very little. So the optical flow sensors on here and the positioning sensors are pretty good because the vast majority of time 
a quadcopters like this, when you have the GPS hold on, they'll be fine. As soon as you turn the GPS hold off, they're 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 off to the races, you know. Now the wind died down for a couple of minutes. If the wind was still going, this it, it would be drifting around, but without any wind, you can see even without the GPS, the positioning sensors are working great. So yeah, that's great stuff. That's great stuff. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and wrap it up so this guy can do what he whatever he wants to do, play with his dog or. I don't know, whatever, whatever. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later, man. Have a nice day. So far, so good, man. It flew, uh, it flew real well. All right. That's all, folks.